Welcome back from that short break. Sasha, how did you develop that idea of Draw a Smile Uganda? Uh, well, uh, this was in uh, 2017. Mm. I remember I was driving actually in traffic mm. and uh, this young kid mm. came to me asking for a hundred, a hundred shillings. Mm. You know how they ask like, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I didn't have cash on me, mm. but I had water and a few snacks. Mm. I gave them, mm. I gave the kids and all, all other kids came around, so mm. I gave all of them okay. and I realized the food I gave them was a lot more than the 100 shillings I would have given them in the first place if I yeah, had it. Yeah. And um, from that time, mm. I started, uh, it started like a good turn project. Mm. You know how, what a good turn project is? No. It's more like you choose an area, mm. you take the clothes, food, mm. something that is not really sustainable, okay. but you keep on doing it in different areas. You know, okay. like food, they'll mm. eat and tomorrow they'll be hungry, but yeah. you're doing something. Something that is going to sustain. Yes. Yeah. So okay. uh, we started off as um, a campaign, mm. which was a good time pro uh, project. Mm. And uh, with time, when I kept on meeting new people, you know, um, I was raised in a way that mm. I don't put material things first. Mm. And I always feel like what I have, mm. someone else needs it more I than know. I do. I always gave out so many of my clothes and sometimes mm. my mom would have like bought for me a new mm. cloth. I wore it once mm. and then I give it out. And the next minute she's like, that's you woman. And I'm like, but she needs it more than I do. <laughs> so um, it, on you. <laughs> it, it, it started like that. And uh -huh. you know, it keeps on growing. It keeps mm. on growing. You start thinking of how you can, uh, you know, help people more. You can um, be involved in their lives, everyday life. Mm. and teach them, educate them, empower mm. them. I Inspiring, also realized yeah. that my focus is women. Okay. My focus is entirely women and young kids. All right. So I, I say to myself, what can I do? Mm. Young girls actually menstruate in school. Yes. And uh, so many of these young girls in like rural areas, mm. they are disturbed by these, these periods. Mm. Like they don't, they don't have, have clean pads. Yeah. They use, you know, dirty clothes and then that goes to hygiene. A lot happens. Mm. And then they're out of school because they can't be in school when they're in such a situation. Mm. I started up the menstrual hygiene campaign. Okay. Let's talk period. Mm. And this has been like going on. Wow. Uh, we later grew into a whole organization. Big, yeah. This is something big and I, I don't work alone. Mm. I work with... Um, how did you so develop many the team, other young that people? team? How did you get the people to uh, work with? Of course, we started with people of the same passion. Mm. But as time goes on, mm. you know the people that will stick with you. Some <laughs> that were not meant to stick around, <laughs> they left. It wasn't their thing, they had yes. to go. <laughs> and uh, those that were mm. meant to stick around, mm. they are still with me and we are still moving forward. Mm. It's big. We are like, 30 young people Why involved. do you want to say it in the next year? Like oh few, God. Of, yes. I want us to help people, mm. uh, young girls mm. around East Africa, not wow. even just Uganda. Wow. I want us to do like to make pads mm. and we distribute to other countries. Okay, so you're looking into something, having a company that makes pads for distribution. It, it's an mm. organization, okay. not really a company mm. because when we teach, we expect these young people to learn Okay. And then some people in Katanga, mm. they are doing it as a business after learning. Yeah. And they are selling them and they are getting income out of it. So oh. it's a business. Okay. And of course we do other things. Okay. When yes. it comes to media, you, you once worked on WBS and you know, yes. do you still have the same desire to come back, and to come back on the screens? No. <laughs> that was never my calling, to be yeah, honest. Oh, really? Yeah. So about the TikTok videos you make all the time with your, your the sweetheart, uh, does it affect you in any way? Does it bring any problems for you or it's okay? Affect me in any like, way? Like does it have it any aspect? negative uh, repercussions? People will mm. criticize where they wish to, mm. but uh, it when I put out videos mm. of me, my partner, mm. anything I'm doing fun, mm. it's really about um, 
me and letting out moment. my fun. Mm, okay. So I don't let anything <laughs> get to me. Right, and okay. even if it was there, what would it be, really, apart from criticism? Anyway, so how do you deal with that criticism? I simply don't mind. You don't mind? You just yeah, I know. Don't I'm, I'm, I'm a very <laughs> silent person. And that is so cool about you. Mm. <laughs> okay, um, have you ever gone through a situation where you really needed God's, like God's intervention? You, it was out of control and you didn't, you didn't know what to do and you had to call on God. I think we all go through that situation at some point. Mm. <laughs> we all do. And I'm sure as you're smiling, you've also gone through a situation. <laughs> <come on>. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, it's a yes, I have. And, mm. um, do you mind sharing the, the situation or it was something oh personal? <laughs> Um, yeah. Of course, life challenging situations here and there. Mm. Like the COVID situation away yeah. from home mm. was very challenging for me because where I was, mm. people were dying every day, okay. every single day. And I was thinking to myself, I'm going to die from this Wait, side. Where well, I was in German. Yeah. And that was the very first hit of you COVID. Were, you had gone for work or there was something else? I, I had done? gone for holidays. Okay. And then... You have a family in Germany? No, I have friends. Wow. Yes. Mm. So, that time, it was I, tough. Okay. it's like I was looking at death yeah. close to me like this. And mm. I was thinking about my mother, mm. my little brother. Oh, was your mother at the moment and your... your she was here. Oh. Okay. They were here. Mm. So, um, that's just one of the moments uh, mm. I really humbled myself and I said God <laughs> if you take me through this I'm going to praise you <laughs> I really <didn't> <laughs> like everyone. I never did <laughs> everyone was like only God yes. like, no one else would really rescue us I I'm even glad that we've moved on so quickly <laughs> I know by the way people so forget fast. quickly but it was so fast mm. for his man nobody knew that we would again meet people talk exactly. be close and all that it was a and, whole new mm, way of living so sasha as a christian mm -hmm. what scripture keeps you moving you know everyone has their scripture they like proverbs 31 what does it say virtuous woman mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes no wonder you that like women uh -huh. grounds me mm. every single minute as a human and I being think you're one. <laughs> I swear. sometimes mm. you get to your head sometimes mm. maybe a little pride mm. maybe a little more money mm. maybe a little steps in life mm. but you need god to, to humble ground you, down. you yeah exactly yeah and uh, when i go back to that scripture mm. it defines me a hundred percent i'm very ambitious mm. i want to do things every other minute mm. all the time mm. i can't deal with sitting there without doing anything Wow. You know, I want to think out of the box. I want to, to help Come people. Yeah. I also do online counseling for wow. people. Really? Yes, so you're I a do. counselor? Yeah, I'm a counselor. Oh, should get I people studied who are clinical psychology. <laughs> yeah. So, um, it oh grounds God, me so in amazing. every single way. Mm. Maybe I mm. would have been taken over by the little God has given me, but it yeah. grounds me. Wow, that's great. Um, as we are winding up, uh, Sasha, there is a young person there. Mm. It's either a lady or <laughs> a lady or a man, mm -hmm. and they're in a, a troubled relationship. They're confused. They don't know what to do. What tips would you give them for a healthy relationship? They are troubled. Yeah. First and foremost, mm. before you get into a relationship. Mm first find yourself when you find yourself mm. it helps you to be able to be or live with another person mm. when your life is a mess itself mm. maybe you've not figured out your career mm. you've not figured out so much around it mm. don't expect a relationship to, wa to, to easily out, work, work out, out. Yeah. you know mm. so as a young person mm. before you invest yourself so much in a relationship mm. first find yourself work on yourself if it's a career path mm. go for it if it's education study so that when a relationship comes in mm. it's something that just completes your puzzle wow. at the end uh, of the day or i forget yes what do you take as your purpose because what? You have many things that you do. What do you take as your purpose? Where do you flow from? 
what do you think God created you for? Because you have a lot to that be you do. there for people. Mm. To be there for them in yeah. what way, like helping them mentally. That's I think that's how I even ended up doing psychology mm. because um, for some reason, of course, you can't you do something. Psychology. Yeah, yeah, yes, clinical it, yeah. psychology. Mm. Mm. You can't always be helping people, mm. and that's the f reality or fact of life. Yeah. You can only do that if you really like, yeah. let me say, for example, the Bill gets, but they also reached a point where they had to first focus on themselves. Yeah, yeah. They had to work and now mm. they're giving back to the community. Mm. So uh, as much as I wanted to help people, mm. which is, I feel like is my calling, mm. like I want to engage with people, but I'm not mm. making money out of it, Obviously. you know? So, so I had to look at two way things. Mm. As much as I want to help people, mm. how can I also be able to mm. make money mm. at the end of the day? Okay. So, um, you know, a purpose, if it does not help someone, mm. someone other than yourself, mm. it's not a right purpose. Mm. If your purpose is to go and, um, I don't know, <laughs> maybe sell I wouldn't. I wouldn't. No, 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 no. I, I wouldn't uh, love to phrase it that way. But mm. your purpose should be able to help someone else other than yourself to make a meaningful purpose out of it. Uh, like we all, we all need each other. So I'm very sure yes. we're created to help each other in one way or the other. Yes. That was so beautiful and powerful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very you. much for. Ah, oh my God, making it. I hope you've learned a lot from her. She's such um, an inspirational woman, you know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, don't forget to hit that button again, subscribe, uh, share the link, and like. Thank you very much for your time, and love you so much. God bless you.